There's a lot of talk about how chameleons can change color, but have you ever seen one change color in real life? In the wild, it's actually quite rare to see this happen. And when you do see it, it's usually just a slight color change. But why do they do this? Well, we'll tell you all about it, right? I sure do love those chameleons. They're just so fascinating. And one of the most fascinating things about them is their ability to change colors. We've all seen them do it in those videos on social media. But have you ever seen one change color in real life? It's actually quite rare to see it happen in the wild, and even rarer to see it happen quickly, like you see in those videos. So why do chameleons change color so quickly in those videos? Well, it's because they're being kept in poor conditions. This stresses them out and puts a lot of strain on their bodies, which makes them change color quickly in the wild. They only change color gradually. But wait, there's more. They don't actually change color at all. What? Yeah, that doesn't make sense. Does it? Let me explain. Have a close look at this chameleon's tail. Can you see the different layers of scales? There are three main layers, and each layer has a different function. The top layer of scales contains guanine crystals. These crystals reflect light and are what we see when we look at a chameleon. The middle layer of scales contains sacs full of red and yellow pigments. The bottom layer of scales contains sacs full of blue pigments. Now, depending on what part of the chameleon you're looking at, one layer might be more visible than the others. But no matter what part of the chameleon you're looking at, all three layers of scales are always showing. It's just that some parts of the chameleon have more of one color than another. For example, the belly of a chameleon usually has more of the blue pigment, while the back has more of the yellow and red pigment. So if all three layers are always showing, how do chameleons change color? Well, they actually change the amount of pigment in each layer. This is done by moving sacs of pigment from one part of the body to another. When the sacs move around, the color of the chameleon changes. When the chameleon is relaxed, its body has a light color because the sacs with the red and yellow pigments are spread out all over its body. When the chameleon gets excited or stressed, its body turns darker because the sacs with the red and yellow pigments move towards its spine. This leaves the lighter colored belly scales showing through on its sides and head. The blue pigment works in the same way, but it's a bit more complicated. When the chameleon is relaxed, its body is a lighter blue because the blue pigment is spread out all over its body. When the chameleon gets excited or stressed, its body turns darker blue because the blue pigment moves towards its spine. However, unlike the red and yellow pigment, the blue pigment doesn't leave the sides and head lighter. Instead, it causes the whole body to become darker blue. That's why you never see a chameleon turn green. It's not physically possible for them to do that. They simply don't have any green pigment. So the next time you see a video of a chameleon changing color really quickly, just remember that it's stressed out and not happy. Also, remember that the color change isn't as dramatic as we think it is. They don't actually turn a different color. They just move pigment around within their own skin. Thanks for watching. If you liked this video, don't forget to click the like button and subscribe so you never miss an awesome episode. See you later!